Welcome to this presentation. We are Edgar Quinteros and Roberto Mejia from El Salvador. We are two young researchers on environmental health that work in the National Institute of Health of El Salvador. We dedicate part of our free time to this project as part of the social compromise with our country. We have the pleasure to present a brief about current state and issues faced by living life in El Salvador. El Salvador is situated on the Pacific coast of Central America. It is the smallest and most overpopulated country in Latin America. The current estimated population is more than 6 million inhabitants and a population density of 341.5 inhabitants per square kilometer. The gross domestic product in 2015 was $24.26 billion. The country has a tropical weather and strong outs of hurricanes and tropical storms. Basic service only partially provided. For example, access to drinking water in rural areas is 69.8%. Access to drinking water in urban areas is 93.5%. The most present environmental problems that affect into El Salvador are deterioration of water quality large deforestation, land erosion, uncontrolled pesticide use and extensive population exposure to toxics. Regarding public health concerns, El Salvador is affected by non-communicable disease, for example chronic kidney disease, waterborne disease and mosquito-borne disease. Since 2012, El Salvador started to participate in the proposal of Living Love project. Originally, an informal cooperation was discussed and started at meeting of the 86 EFUI in Bonn with representatives of National Institute of Health of El Salvador, the University of Collins Landau, University of El Salvador, and the Ambassador of El Salvador in Germany, Anita Cristina Scher Echeverria. An effort to find solutions for the problem of chronic kidney disease and pesticide exposure in agricultural areas from El Salvador, known as Bajo Lempa and the southwest of the country. Since then to date, it has reached some important advances. In 2013, it was possible to establish and discuss first proposal of living lab in El Salvador. In 2014, University of Collins Landau announced the proposal of the project called Living Lab in El Salvador that could start with the aim to establish the infrastructure for a living lab in El Salvador based on two phases. Where be the first phase is intent to find a community and possible risk mitigation strategies to evaluate their applicability and acceptance in the community. In the second phase, it is intent to get the living lab started. Finally, in 2015, a delegation from Germany and South Africa experts visit El Salvador to meet with different stakeholders from Bajo Lempa, NGOs and government. In the case of establishing the living lab in El Salvador, we propose possible stakeholders and their contribution to the project. First, we propose local stakeholders that could contribute to facilities, medical care, health topic training and support on surveillance of health risks. Regarding NGOs, we consider that possible stakeholders could be Medicus Mundi and German or other foreign NGOs in El Salvador. This good support with the financial resources. Finally, the support in the communities, the training of local stakeholders and people participants would be mainly Health National Forum, Ministry of Health of El Salvador, Ministry of Environment, Red Cross, and the University of El Salvador. What could be the aim of Living Lab in El Salvador? The main objective is reduce of risk on local farmers and members of communities caused by exposure to use of pesticides in agricultural activities with a focus on one health. The specific objectives are mitigation of risk of possible occupational and environmental factors related to chronic kidney disease that affect to Salvadoran farmers improve health care of chronic kidney disease patients and improve local agricultural production. However, the development of this project has some limitation and needs that will be important to take into account. 
The main limitations are the financial support and the current social insecurity in the area of the Bajo Lempa region. Regarding needs, we have identified setting up of a multidisciplinary research group, acquisitions of low-cost technology, technical training and organizational structure of the project, communication among stakeholders and governmental support. Thank you for your kind attention.